Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's uh, short video I will show you how to paint uh, this Panoceania Orc Trooper from the Operation Callstorm. Uh, we will do a lot of uh, blending and we will use uh, mostly some contrast paints and little of dry brush. So please uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. To start with, uh, I primed this model with the uh, red bone spray and I try to get a nice and even coat uh, everywhere. And our first uh, base color, it will be a light sea blue. Uh, if you don't have this color, you can use a Temple Guard blue, it's the same color. But I found this one uh, that f uh, flows really nicely from my brush. So you will go all around your model and apply one uh, a nice uh, thin coat and uh, try to be uh, tidy with it uh, so we don't need to do a lot of repair works later. This is how I blocked my colors so I will show you the whole model so you can copy the scheme if you want. After uh, this, uh, our next step will be to paint uh, the black parts. So we will use a black Templar contrast color. And we will use it straight from the pot and just uh, apply it uh, all over uh, the parts that you want to be black. This is optional part. Uh, I painted the holster with the Rhinox hide because I want it to look a, like a letter. But if you don't have this color, you can still paint it black. Now it is time to wash our mini. So I will use a dark tone wash with a few drops of the quick shade uh, washing medium. So uh, this will uh, make the wash to flow really nicely and go deep into the recesses. Uh, at this moment don't stress uh, if uh, this wash go over your black parts, but uh, you, you can uh, try to mostly cover only the blue parts of the mini. After everything is properly dried, I will start uh, highlighting my blue armor. So I will start with the light sea blue and then keep adding the sky blue to the mix and start glazing it at the most exposed topper parts of the mini so I get like a nice uh, shade. So from the first step you can cover 90% of the previous color and then you add a little uh, sky blue to the mix and then you cover less and then you added a more uh, uh, sky blue to the mix and then you cover even less and just go all around the mini and uh, do the highlights. After few passes uh, you will end up only doing the highlights with the uh, sky blue. So you can do this as a edge highlight on some parts uh, but uh, on the other parts you can do it only on the most raised uh, areas as your uh, final highlight uh, before we proceed to do the edge highlighting. Our color for the edge highlights will be Ultuan Grey. So, uh, I add a little water to this color because I found it that it's a little chalky and then use uh, edge of your brush or the really pointy brush and just uh, apply these highlights only on the sharpest uh, edges of the miniature. For the holster we will use a scrag brown and we will just use a, like a stippling technique and just uh, stipple it on the edges 
it to your brush so it will create a worn leather effect on our holster. It's time to start highlighting the gun. Uh, this uh, segment is optional. Uh, you can skip this part if you want, uh, but I find it that adding a dark reaper on my black before proceeding with the final highlights will add another volume to my shades. So I will do this highlight only on the, the guns and nothing else. But I will cover very little areas, like maybe only like 20% of the previous color. Now we will highlight everything together, so all the black parts with the Amistratum Grey. So this will be a straightforward edge highlighting. So you will add a little color on your brush and just go all around uh, every single black area on the model with the edge of your brush and draw uh, very thin lines all around. Before I proceed with working on the white parts, I will use the red bone color, which is same as my base color, to do the cleanup and just repaint all the mistakes I made with the other colors around the model. For the furry cloak, I will paint it with the Agaros dunes. Uh, it's another contrast color, which I will use straight from the pot and just uh, try to be uh, careful and tidy and apply it uh, in a one uh, nice thick coat uh, all uh, around his uh, fur. While the cloak is drying, I will uh, paint uh, all the white parts with the Afotecary White, it's another contrast paint and uh, I will use this paint uh, straight from the pot and I will apply it in a one very thick coat but I will still keep a control in my brush and uh, try not to go on the parts of the model that I already painted. While I'm waiting for these two colors to dry I will start painting this uh, mine or uh, piece of junk that he's uh, standing on. So I will base it with the uh, chrome silver from Vallejo. If you don't have this color you can use any bright or uh, chrome silver uh, color that you have. After fur cloak is dried I will use a uh, red bone and just dry brush it uh, on the insides. Uh, this will be very light dry brush and try to get a nice even uh, coat uh, all around. So just be careful not to go on the parts that we already painted. For the white, uh, we will go back to the Ultua Grey and now we will go all around and try to cover 80% uh, of the surfaces that are uh, at the top but we will still leave all the shadows intact and all the dark areas uh, dark. Uh, so just add a little water to your color so it flows uh, good from your brush and uh, go try to be as tidy as possible and this color will require to be applied in the nice two thin coats to get a good effect. Uh, for the scrap that he's standing on, I will wash it first uh, with the Crete Camo Contrast to try to create some uh, a green metal color. After my previous layer of the Ultuan Grey is dried, I will start highlighting the armor. Uh, so I will use a white scar and I will apply this color only as an edge highlight and uh, I will put it only on the most uh, top raised areas of the model to create the, the final highlight.
for the, all the red uh, lights and all the lenses that he have on the, uh, his armor, I will base them with the uh, Evil Sun's Scarlet. But we won't do any wash uh, since this detail is uh, very small. So I will just try to be uh, as much careful as I am not to ruin my previous work on the helmet. And after the uh, previous layer is dry, it's time to highlight it. Uh, we will use a troll slayer orange and uh, for the these circular lights we'll apply it on the top end. But for the lenses on his helmet we will just uh, highlight the lower part of the lens. For my final wash uh, for the base, I will use a black bearer flash and uh, that will complete uh, this base. Only thing that's left is to paint those little uh, lights that you have there. And uh, for that I used uh, some technical paint called the Spirit Stone Red. Uh, it's create the effect of uh, like some jewel or the lens but if you don't have this color you can use any red since the base is already metallic uh, it will uh, have a nice nice color on it so our model is finished and it's time to transfer him to his base uh, if you want to know how i did this base i will include uh, a link in description below to the video of the making of that base I hope you like this video and if you did please leave a comment and like and subscribe it will mean a lot and uh, hope to see you back in the future with uh, some next models from the infinity universe goodbye ciao